Welcome to the Smart Lab Activities How to Demo Series. This demo is how to use SuperSort. I'm in a notebook file and on a new page, and I'm going to create a SuperSort activity, an activity that asks students to sort items into two categories. On the top menu, I select the Smart Lab icon. This opens a list of all the Smart Lab activities, and I scroll down and select SuperSort. The SuperSort dialog box opens. For this activity, I'm going to use the same categories that I use for Match em Up. In the title area, I'm going to type in the category names. This category is going to be element name, and the one on the right is going to be atomic symbol. Under the titles, I can type in the element names in the left-hand column and their matching atomic symbol on the right. This time, though, I don't have to type them in because I had previously created and saved lists that I can use in multiple games. I'm going to use those here. At the top of the left column, I'm going to click the plus sign. This opens a list of my lists and I'm going to select element name and then click load. In the right hand column I'm going to click the plus sign, select atomic symbol, and then click load. When I'm done I go down to the bottom and click next. I select a theme, I'm going to select base, basic, and then select finish. My activity builds and then appears on the page. During class, I can ask the students to drag the element names and the atomic symbols from the bottom into the correct category circle at the top. So I'm going to drag H to atomic symbol and I'm going to drag chlorine to element name and just to show you what happens if I drag an atomic symbol over to the element name category because it's incorrect it'll bounce right back. I'm going to quickly finish this off and the game is done. If I want to change something in this activity, I open its notebook page and in the top right corner of the activity player, I click the pencil icon to open the activities dialog box and make any changes that I want. One last note before I end this demo. You can add a game element like a buzzer, timer, or randomizer to this activity. I describe game elements in the demo, how to add game elements to a smart lab activity in this how to demo series. Thanks for watching. Check out the other demos in this how to demo series.